I'm Andrew for Andrew Talks. I'm ready to talk and I hope you are ready to listen. The pen is in hand. Let's go. Who do you think you are? No, for real. Who do you think you are? No, no, no. Not like that. Not like who do you think you are? How dare you watch Andrew Talks? Because thank you for watching. But the question is, who do you think you are? We're going to talk about identity this week. That's right. Who really are you? What's your purpose in life? Why are you here? It's all next. All next we're going to find out about it. So the question arises. Who do we think we are? So often we're told to be ourselves. Just be yourself. You hear that all the time, don't you? Just be yourself. But what does that really mean? Who are you? You know, I was thinking about that recently. I was talking to a good friend of mine who will remain nameless because, you know, it's Andrew Talks with Andrew. It's not Andrew Talks with friends. Okay, that's sort of rude. All right, but just kidding. Anyways, I was talking to a good friend of mine, and I was talking about my identity being swallowed up by my occupation. I feel like I am my job. Have you felt like that before? Yes, you just feel like you're running day to day. You don't even know who you are. You don't even have a chance to check in with yourself because you're so busy with work. You're so busy with the kids. You're so busy with whatever else that you might have that you don't have time for yourself. We got to fix that. We got to work on that. Who do we think we are to not treat ourselves better than that? Honestly, honestly. So, me and the crew decided to go through a few uh, examples of who you might think you are and who I might think I am. For example, maybe, maybe you are an instigator. How do you know you're an instigator if, for example, okay, you didn't hear this from me, but Julie, yes, Julie, two cubicles over, says she is not letting you borrow any more pens because you don't give them back. That's what she said. She said you're a pen thief. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, a pen thief. That's right, she said it. Uh, I, I, I listen, I can only tell you what I heard. That's, that's it. Maybe that's you. Maybe that's you. Or perhaps, maybe you're a diva. How do you know you're a diva? How do you know you're a diva? Joe, I swear to God, if you move that camera one more time, really, really, Joe, really got me out in this hot sun doing an Andrew Talks episode, and you can't even hold the camera straight for one minute? <laughs> Maybe that would make you a diva. There's so many examples of who you might think you are. Now, there is a great song. Great, great song. Great country song. That's right. We're getting country this week, y'all. Country. There's a great song from the artist Jessica Andrews. It came out a long time ago. Long time ago called Who I Am. And she just talks about who she is and how she doesn't need all that big fame and fortune because she knows who she is. She knows she's the granddaughter of a certain somebody. She knows she looks just like her daddy and her mama is her biggest fan. Look it up. Go on YouTube, Jessica Andrews, who I am. Shout out to Jessica Andrews for keeping it real and knowing who she is. And you should know who you are. You should know who you are. Yes, indeed. Who are you? For real. Who are you? Hey, so we're back here on Andrew Talks, talking about identity and something that crossed my mind right now as the cars are whizzing by. So I'm sorry about that. But something that crossed my mind speaking about identity is that... Sometimes we don't want to identify with who we really are because we're ashamed of who we are and what we are. Maybe we feel a little bit broken or a little overweight. It's just bloat. I'm just bloated. I'm just bloated. We make excuses for ourselves because we're not comfortable with our identity. We're not comfortable because we're afraid of what people might think or what people might say. But everybody goes through the same thing. So why should we be worried about anybody else? We should just be concerned with ourselves. Yes? Yes? So take your pen, pen in hand and take a notebook and let's just take a minute and write down who we are and if you're like andrew i need more than a minute we'll take more than a minute pause the tape pause pause the video and uh, take a minute and write down who you are and um what you're proud of and what you're not proud of so like i said good bad or indifferent we are who we are that's right we are who we are so as uh i took a minute to write down some things of maybe who you are or who i am i hope you did the same and this is the list i came up with okay i came up with maybe you're broken oh maybe you are broken you should get fixed (laughs) maybe a little duct tape no i'm kidding i'm kidding You should work on yourself. If you feel like you're broken, you should find out what the root of that brokenness is, what caused the break, and fix yourself. Maybe you're a liar. Maybe you should start telling the truth. Maybe you should. Maybe you should. Yeah, stop lying. No one likes a liar. Nobody lies. Oh, my God. I lied a few times back in the day, and it didn't work out well, because then you got to tell a lie on top of another lie to keep the first lie. It's a lot to lie. It's a lot of energy. Don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Maybe you're successful. 
And that's a good thing. And you should be proud of your success. You should never apologize for your success. I don't know who I'm talking to. Maybe I'm just talking to myself. But if you have your own talk show, or even if you are starting up your own little bakery, or whatever the case may be, or even if you just look cute in your outfit today, and you feel like somebody else doesn't look as cute, and they're hating on you, just be proud of yourself. Don't apologize for being cute in your outfit, or having your own bakery, or your own talk show. Be proud of yourself, but don't, don't be cocky. There's nothing worse than being cocky. Don't be cocky. Maybe you're caged. Maybe you're free. Maybe you're gay, bi, straight, questioning, transgendered. Maybe you're Muslim, Catholic, Jewish, Christian, Baptist, atheist. Maybe you're apathetic. Maybe you're activist. Maybe you're happy. Maybe you're sad. Maybe you're hungry. Eat something. Please eat something. Don't go. And make sure, we already discussed this, but make sure you have a good breakfast. But yeah, maybe you're hungry. Maybe the possibilities are endless as who you identify as. And it could be more than one thing. Maybe you're a bad parent, but a good sibling. Or maybe you're a good sibling, but a bad teacher. Or maybe you're a good example, but a poor translator. It could, the, the possibilities are endless. Are endless, yes indeed, of who you are who you are so like I said think about it think about who you are and then come back and tell me come back and tell me maybe you're Andrew Talks viewer I hope so because that would make not a lot of sense if you're watching this and not an Andrew Talks viewer I'm just saying I'm just saying who are you who are you as we've been saying all day today who are you who are you and now it's time for the real talk real talk real talk moment of the day to find yourself sometimes you have to free yourself and earlier we were talking about I'll say that one more time because I don't think everybody heard me to find yourself sometimes you gotta free yourself and we were just discussing earlier how we get caught up with so many things whether it's our job that takes over our identity or maybe it's because we're a parent to some kids or maybe because we have too many social activities or maybe it's just a combination of all three who knows what the case may be you know what the case is for you but sometimes Sometimes you have to free yourself to find yourself. So sometimes you got to let go of all those responsibilities. Maybe you have too much on your plate and you know you have too much on your plate. There's nothing worse than a glutton. Gluttony is a sin. So don't have too much on your plate. Don't have too much on your plate. Sometimes you got to free yourself to find yourself. That is the real talk moment of the day. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I will free myself and get rid of my job that I have right now and just be a talk show host for the whole world. Oh, a boy can dream. Maybe, maybe. But yes, and once you find yourself, then you can be yourself, and then this world will be a better place because you'll know your purpose in life, and you'll be out there doing it. And you'll be happier. You'll make other people happier. And see? Oh, my goodness. What well, beautiful ripple effect. Ripple effect. Just a beautiful, beautiful ripple effect. All right. So, remember to find yourself. you got to free yourself. So free yourself of all that bad stuff, all that stuff that's bothering you. All right, that's the real talk. Real talk. Mom. All right, my friends, it is that time. It is that time for me to say goodbye, say goodbye. But now that we know who we are, we've figured out our identity, make sure you make it great. So whatever you may be identifying as, just make sure it's great. So you have a great morning, have a great evening, have a great afternoon, and I will see you next time on Andrew Talks. I am Andrew for Andrew Talks. Bye, everybody. Make it great. Jones' grandson, the spinning image of my mom. And when the day is done, my daddy's still my biggest fan. Sometimes I'm clueless and I'm clumsy, but I got friends that love me. You, thank you for loving me. And I know just who I am. It's all a part of me. And that's who I am. Now that you know the song, everybody sing. I am Barbara Jones' grandson, the spinning image of my mom. And when my day is done, my daddy's still my biggest fan. Hey, Dad. Sometimes I'm clueless and I'm clumsy, but I got friends that love me, and they know just where I stand. It's all a part of me. Everybody, and that's who I am. Look out, X-Factor. Bye.